Welcome to our tutorial about using Inventor's Precise Input Window. That's the window that appears when you activate the Line tool. Let's pick up where we left off in our previous tutorial. Include Geometry. Let's select this point. Now activate the Line tool. The Precise Input Window appears. Let's snap the triad to this center point. I'm going to create a line that's 2 inches in the Z direction and press enter. Right click, unselect, auto bend. Now let's create a 2 inch line in the Y direction. Enter and a 2 inch line in the positive X direction. Enter, right click and done. Let's apply some dimensions now. 2 inches, OK. 2 inches here, OK. And the third line, also 2 inches, OK. Now let's activate the line tool again. I'm going to create two more lines. It looks like the triad snapped to the end of the last line, but actually this can be deceiving. Let me click in empty space. And then right click, restart. Let's mouse over here until we see the green dot. Let's select the XZ plane. And we'll create a line somewhere here. Now we'll select the YX plane on the triad. Create a vertical line. And right click and done. Now let's apply some dimensions. This line is going to be 1.5 inches. OK. This line will be 1 inch. OK. Now let's place an angular dimension. 45 degrees. OK. This angular dimension here will be 90 degrees. Click OK and our sketch is blue, fully defined. Let's apply some bends now. Let's make it half an inch. And here we'll make this bend a quarter of an inch. Let's edit this dimension. I'll make it 2.5 inches instead of 1.5. OK. Now let's activate the Line tool again. We're going to snap to this point and click on Precise Redefine. Now select the Z axis and this line. Let's create a 2 inch line in the negative Z direction. Minus 2, enter. Now let's redefine the triad once again. Let's select this line and create a 1 inch line in the positive Z direction. 0, 0, 1, enter. Right click and done. Now let's apply some dimensions. Our second dimension now. 1 inch, OK. Let's apply an angular dimension here. 90, OK. And another angular dimension, this one 135, OK. Lastly, we're going to apply a bend. And we're ready to exit the sketch, finish sketch. Now let's activate the sweep tool. Select a path, click OK. Here is our pipe. And this concludes our tutorial about the precise input window.